Are you looking for a three fabric quilt block that has a lot of versatility? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make the double spool block. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So this double spool block is a 12 inch finished block and it has four little six inch blocks put together. So each of these six inch blocks is a little spool block, but it makes this nice uh, unit when we put them all together. So today I'm gonna show you how to make this. So to make the double spool block, you are gonna need from background fabric, eight pieces of two inches by six and a half inches. Then from each of the two colors that you're using, so I'm using blue and green. You are going to need eight two inch squares, four two inches by three and a half inch pieces, and two three and a half inch squares. So that's from each of those colors. And then to start off, we are not gonna use those. We're gonna use the background pieces and these little two inch squares. And on each background piece, we're gonna add uh, these little squares using the stitch and flip method it's sometimes called. So this is a technique that is used in the easiest ever method for half square triangles. Um, it's used to make snowball blocks, um, sometimes flying geese. And we're gonna add a square onto each side and then stitch on the diagonal and then trim and press back. And the one thing that you wanna make sure of that when you do this, that you're doing your stitching lines in the opposite directions. So your pieces are gonna look like this. Um, and so if you're really good with shapes, you'll notice that that background piece is going to be a trapezoid and not a parallelogram. Um, just remember that your stitches go in opposite directions from each other. And we're gonna have four green and four blue. Um, so I'm gonna go do the stitching and then I'll show you the trimming and pressing. So now these pieces are sewn together and the stitches are in opposite directions. So I'm just gonna use scissors. You could also use a rotary cutter and I'm just gonna trim that away. And you can eyeball a quarter of an inch. It doesn't have to be exactly a quarter of an inch seam allowance, because your stitching's already done. So you're not lining your seam allowance up to anything. And I'm gonna trim off the other one. And um, I know you can do bonus half square triangles uh, with this stitch and flip technique. However, these are so small that your bonus half square triangle would be like maybe an inch. And so I didn't bother with that because I'm not doing piecing that has half inch half square triangles. But if you do that, by all means, go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to press that and it's going to look like this. So I will do that with all of these pieces. So these pieces are done. We have four green and four blue. They look like that. Now we'll take our other pieces and we're just going to switch them. So our green squares, we're going to put a blue rectangle onto either side and then the blue squares will put a green rectangle onto either side. So now that these pieces are done, we can see how these are gonna to go together to make the spools. So we will put um, the triangle pieces onto either side and we're matching the triangles to the rectangle strips. So blue to blue, green to green, and then we will have four little spool blocks. So now these little spool blocks are finished. And just a little tip about pressing. When you press the middle section, press the seams towards that middle square. And then when you add the outside pieces, press that toward the middle square. And that will eliminate some of the bulk from these diagonal pieces. So these should all be six and a half inches square. So double check that. 
and then we're just going to join them together alternating green blue green blue and join them together to make our 12 inch block so here it is it's our finished double spool block so this block finishes at 12 inches so if you measure it now it should be 12 and a half inches and of course you can also make a quilt just using the six inch version and have that in a quilt as well for a six inch block if you would like to see this block embellished with embroidery then check the link below and i do have a version of this that has hand embroidered embellishment there are a lot of different ways that you can embellish this block or use it with different color combinations. It's very versatile. So have fun using this block in your next quilting project. For more quilting tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out evenestudio.com.